Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Oh, it's an evening. I don't know what it is. But uh, anyway, today we're here with our fire prevention uh, program. We do this. It's an annual event that we have here in Linden. Um, the fire department is doing a great job teaching our young people uh, about fire prevention. Uh, to me, it's one of the one of the better events that we have in town. And next week we have our regular, uh, what we're going to call it our October, we can never forget, or, or Oktoberfest, whatever you choose to call it. And uh, we also have our black and white event uh, on Sunday of next week. That's October 9th and October 10th next week. Look forward to, see you, to seeing you all there. God bless. Welcome, everybody. We're here for Fire Prevention Night 2021. We didn't get an opportunity last year because of the COVID situation, but this year it's going to be bigger than ever it's just starting out um we got a lot of kids here coming in we've got hot dogs for the family uh lots of giveaways and we're gonna give away some uh, we got lots of giveaways we got some bikes that we're going to be giving away later uh, i'm sure the mayor's going to be here to make a statement so please all your residents come on down City of Linden. I want to thank everyone for coming out to the Linden Fire Department Fire Prevention Night. This is our annual thing, and it's great to see so many people here tonight. It's really reminds me of my first fire prevention night way back when I was in McManus, and I came out and saw all the firemen and the fire engines, and I was in all of that. So I hope tonight we brought some of that magic to the young people here that I remember when I was their age. So with that said, a little bit of crowd participation right now. Did we have fun tonight? Did we get some good gifts to take home tonight? Did we learn something tonight? Great, because that's what this is all about. Fire Prevention Month is about learning about fire safety. And this, this year, the fire prevention theme is know the sounds of fire safety. So basically, what is your smoke detector or carbon monoxide detector trying to tell you when it goes off? Is it saying there's danger and we need to get out of the house? Is it saying, hey, I need a new battery before I go dead, change me? Or are they saying, hey, I'm at the end of my life and pretty soon I'm not gonna work anymore? So there's a lot of good information we gave out tonight. They're in the packets. If you didn't get one, please take one before you go home. This is to make sure that you guys are safe because the best way to help you in a fire is to prevent the fire. So that's what we want to get out to you guys tonight. So I do have to thank some people before we move forward. So just bear with me for a second. The first I want to, I want to thank New Star. They donated $5,000 to the events tonight. Last year, we had to cancel Fire Prevention Night, and they still donated $5,000 to us, and we were able to buy one of the tripods you see in the back there to add to our technical rescue ability. So I wanted to thank New Star. The bikes were donated by Walmart, so I want to make sure they get thanked. I want to thank all the people that came out tonight. Philip 66, we had the Linden Police, Chief Hart's here, we had Linden Dispatch, OEM, the Linden FMBA, who provided the hot dogs and water for everybody. We had Matt for the music and making sure I sounded good on the mic. Matt, thank you very much. Brad, who's doing the video. Brad, I see you behind the light. You're doing a tremendous job. And we have Josh, pictures. Make sure I look good, all right? And who else? The Mayor's Youth Commission donated the cotton candy that was given out at the technical rescue unit. And also, I want to thank Public Properties for setting up the tables for us, because if not, we would have nowhere to put the stuff, so thank you very much. I want to thank the firefighters that are here off duty. 
Guys, this is the fun stuff we get to do when it's not in an emergency situation. So enjoy this night, because it's not often we get to see people like this. I have to thank my office staff. There's a lot of work that goes behind putting up this event. I want to thank Sue Braxton. Sue, where are you? There you are, Sue. Say hi. I want to thank Kathy Colgan. She's over there at OEM. She was the one giving out the raffle tickets. And I want to take Sandy Jackson. She is indispensable. She has become the party planning person for the city of Linden. So everyone, thank you, ladies. You did a great job. I also want to thank Chief Hasco. He's in attendance. Chief made it a point to put importance behind fire prevention night. So he put the the time, the effort, anything I needed to put this event together, he was 100% behind, so I wanted to thank him for that. Also want to thank all the deputy chiefs that came out here. We're one big unit that works together. Everybody's here tonight. This is the first time I remember so many white shirts being here, so I thank you for being it and helping out and supporting. So I had written down that I wanted to show off our brand new 2020 Pierce pumper that was supposed to go there and our 2021 Engine 1 pumper that was supposed to go there. Unfortunately, we're the fire department. We cannot plan events. We had a structure fire at 3 o'clock in the afternoon just before this event and they're all there. So I apologize for not having our brand new engines here. I wanted to show them off to everybody. But I did want to point out, before we get forward, we do have one of our Zodiac boats here. And for people who don't realize, the Linden Fire Department does have a Marine Division that we're able to staff with firemen. That Zodiac right there was responsible for 17 water rescues just a couple weeks ago during Hurricane Ida. So I just want people to be aware of the capabilities that we have and to thank the city, the mayor, the council is in attendance for making sure we have the ability to have the resources, have them properly staffed, that gives us the ability to respond to any emergency we have in any type of situation. So I just wanted to thank them. And I'm gonna point out Councilman Javix in attendance, Councilman Ormond's in attendance, and of course, Mayor Armstead's in attendance. So now I'm gonna get the raffle going. I know that's what everyone's here for and we will pull it shortly. I'm gonna call the mayor up, he's gonna say a few words. Okay. Hey, good evening everybody. First of all, thank you all for coming out. Um, I'm not gonna go through that whole list of people to thank again because we'll be here all evening. But um, I do wanna thank our fire department uh, for hosting this event every year. It is so important that our children understand fire prevention and fire safety. You know, sometimes it's the littlest thing that you can teach someone that can save a life. And if, um, if one life is saved because of something that you learned here, then it makes, no matter how much was spent on this event, worthwhile. So once again, thank you all for coming out. Thank our fire department for doing such a great job. And last but certainly not least, thank you all for letting me be your mayor. It's the best job any man could ever want, and I really appreciate it. So with that being said, we're gonna have a raffle here. We got these nice bicycles. I wish I was a kid again. You like the green one? I don't like the black one. I don't like this 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 one. I like this one. Okay. Sandy. What are we doing? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pull the first we're gonna pull the first ticket, okay? No, no. There's a blue and there's red. Red. So pick a one, there's two boys, two girls. Okay, the first one we're gonna pick, we're gonna pick a blue. It's a boys. It's a boys bicycle. Oh, I'm the one. Okay. I'm gonna ask one of these these young men to read that number. Come home with this one. Because I left my glasses home. I'm just gonna borrow the mic for you real quick. All right, the first ticket, it's a blue ticket. We have 702-7130. Anyone? Oh, Councilman Roman's here. I didn't see it before. How are you, sir? Anyone? We're going to move on. you got to be here. So if anyone has that ticket, do you have that ticket? 
No, 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 all right, we have another ticket. I'm going to try this time. Hold on. There you go. There you go. A little light always helps. 702 702-7114. 702-7114. 702-7114. It's a boy's bike. Going once. Going twice. All right, we're going to pull another number. Let's, let's get, get another ticket so we can put, give him another ticket because he threw his ticket in the game. I don't know. Sal. No, he didn't want to look at the ticket. Hey, we didn't nobody want yet? Pick it up. Okay. There's still two. Just hop over here for a second. Okay. 702 7108. 702 7108. Oh, we have a winner. Oh, right. yeah, I can't check. Okay, check it. We're gonna check. Oh! Is that for him? Bring, bring that light. Okay. Little light. The green one, he said. The green one. Okay, we have a winner. Can you just stay off to the side? We're gonna take a picture when we're done. Okay. He's gonna get the green one. He gets the green one. All right, I'm picking another, another number. Here we go. 702 702-7128. 702-7128. 702-7128. One more time, 702-7128. Going once, going twice. Okay. Next number is 702-7118. Seven zero two. Oh, we might have somebody. Seven one one eight. All right. Yeah. So he's gonna get the black one. Okay. That's yours right there. Okay. So, mom. 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 At, the, at the end, we're gonna take we're gonna take a picture of all of them together. We're gonna Come take. On. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to the girls' bikes. All right. Here we go. The first number is 7-8-7-4-4-6. We have a winner. Well, I think she did it. I think it's bigger than that. Oh, okay. okay. 787. 
four, three, zero. Oh, we got one. <coughs> Perfect. Keep it. Right. 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 Yep. Nice job. Alright, we're going to take pictures in one second. Okay, that's it on the bicycles. How about all the all the bike winners come up, we're going to take a nice picture, okay? Alright, alright, alright. Good. Thank you. Cool, we're done? Right. Okay, you going to say anything else or no? No, I'm good. We're good? I, I can say goodnight to everybody. Say goodnight to everybody. Alright everybody, that ends our fire prevention night. I want to thank everybody who, uh, who came out tonight. We really appreciate it. Um, and again, I want to thank Deputy Chief Christopher Rooney, our fire prevention deputy, who did a fantastic job. Let's have a nice round of applause for D.C. Rooney. Fantastic job tonight. Um, and of course, the mayor. Let's have a nice round of applause for our mayor, our fire committee chairman, Barry Javik. They're the ones who give us the resources and support to, to bring this to you to the public and the rest of the council as well. So thank you, everyone, for coming, and have a great night.